Hi friends! Welcome to today's learning video. My name is Toddy and I'm so excited to teach you all about time. In this video we are going to learn about seconds, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. Understanding time is an important skill that will help you throughout your life. So let's get started. A second is the shortest amount of time we will talk about. It takes about one second to blink your eyes or snap your fingers. Let's all practice counting up to five seconds. Great job! A minute is made up of 60 seconds. One minute is about as long as it takes to brush your teeth or take a short time out. An hour has 60 minutes. So that's 3,600 seconds in one hour. Some things that take about an hour are watching a TV show, doing homework, or playing with friends. A day is made up of 24 hours. We wake up in the morning, have breakfast, go to school or daycare, play in the afternoon, have dinner, and go to bed at night. All in one day. A week has seven days. The days of the week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Try singing the days of the week song with me. A month is about four weeks long. The 12 months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. My birthday is in November. When is your birthday month? A year is 12 months or about 52 weeks. We celebrate a new year every January 1st of the year. And now, we are going to start learning how to read clocks. Clocks help us tell time by showing the hours and minutes of the day. There are analog clocks with hour and minute hands and digital clocks that show the time in numbers. Analog clocks have the number 12 at the top for 12, noon or midnight. The small hand is the hour hand and the big hand is the minute hand. When the hour hand points to a number, that tells us the hour of the day. And the minute hand points to the minutes within each hour. When the minute hand is pointing at 12, it shows a full hour and we call it a clock. It's 8 o'clock. When the minute hand is on the right side of the clock, we say it is past. On the clock, it says 10 past 7. When the minute hand is on the left side of the clock, we say it is 2. Can you tell the time? It's 10 to 5. When you mention a half in saying time, that means half of an hour or 30 minutes. If the minute hand is pointing to 6 and the hour hand is halfway between the two numbers on the clock, we say half past the number that the hour hand is pointing to. For example, in this picture, we would say it's half past two. In addition to half past, we can also tell time using quarter two and quarter past the hour. A quarter in telling time represents one fourth of an hour or 15 minutes. For example, in this picture, the minute hand is at number three and our hand is at number 10. We would say it's quarter past 10. Quarter past 10 is 15 minutes after 10 o'clock. Now, let's look at the clock in the room. Can you tell me what is the time now? Being able to tell time is an important skill you'll use for your whole life. Thanks for learning with me today. Like and subscribe so you won't miss any fun. Bye bye.